You've reached a verdict in your case, and now the judge in your trial in a medical malpractice case or in an accident case or even in a wrongful death case refuses to ask the jury to confirm their verdict to make sure it's consistent with what they wrote down on the verdict sheet. Do you want to know what will happen if that occurs? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. I'm coming to you today from beautiful, sunny Sanibel Island, Florida, and I have a few minutes to share this great information with you. My wife is actually out on the beach picking shells, so I have a few minutes to talk to you about this. All right, so now you've taken your case to trial, a jury has now reached a verdict, and now either your attorney, the attorney who represents you, is known as the plaintiff's attorney, or the defense lawyer. Ask the judge, Your Honor, I ask the court to poll the jury on their verdict. And why is that done? It's done in order to make sure that what the jury intended to put down on that verdict sheet is consistent with what the entire jury actually wanted to do. And there have been instances in New York where there have been inconsistencies, where the jury actually got confused by the instructions, and now what they put down was not correct compared to what they actually wanted to do. What that means is that if the judge refuses to go ahead and poll the jury and question and confirm that their verdict is really what they had consistently put down on the verdict sheet, that now would be error. And that means that the appellate court, the higher court that would review this issue, would then send the case back down to trial to try the case all over again. Why? Because the judge failed to take that one final step, which is to confirm the jury's true verdict and true intent. And if, by some chance, there is an inconsistency in what the jurors wanted to do and what's listed in the jury verdict sheet, he can now send them back into the jury room before they disband, before the case is finally over, and now ask them to fix whatever problem or inconsistency has come up. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give an insight and an understanding to what goes on in the trial process in the state of New York. You know, I realize you're watching this because you're contemplating bringing a case involving a medical malpractice matter or an accident matter or even a wrongful death matter, and you have questions or concerns about your own particular case. Well, if you do have questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do on a regular basis, and I'd love to talk with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.